one minute I'll be flying, I'll see people of Middle Eastern descent getting pulled, you know, random selections, beeping through the machine. And then Ebola happened, and all of a sudden the focus shift. Focus shifted, and now it was Africans getting pulled aside, Africans waiting. Middle Easterners were cruising through security. <laughs> And then almost as quickly as it started, it flipped back overnight. And I'll never forget when it happened. Right after the Charlie Hebdo attack in Paris. That attack happened, and almost the next day, Ebola wasn't a thing anymore. <laughs> Middle Easterners were back in the spotlight. Normal service had been resumed. Because <laughs> after Charlie Hebdo, I would walk through airports and no one gave a damn. They didn't care about me, where I was from, nor the bananas in my bag. <laughs> I just, I just cruised through security. Charlie Hebdo, terrorist attack in France. Everyone led with it, CNN, breaking news, terrorists have attacked Charlie Hebdo headquarters. BBC, and in, and in breaking news, unconfirmed reports are saying 12 people have been killed by terrorists who have attacked. Everyone said they were terrorists. It was weird to me because we didn't know that they were terrorists. We just knew that they were Middle Eastern. But immediately we went to terrorists. Because if you're Middle Eastern, that's a terrorist. That's the world we live in now. Yeah, if you're Middle Eastern, terrorism is your trademark. It's so crazy how easy it is to get people to hate a group of people, because that's what happened. Charlie Hebdo, and then everyone started saying things about Muslims. These damn Muslims, these damn, we gotta stop Islam. That's what we gotta do. We gotta stop these Islamists, these Muslims. Now I'm not saying all Muslims are terrorists, but all terrorists are Muslims. <laughs> it sounds really smart, doesn't it? It sounds really smart. Yeah, but it's not. It's stupid and it's hate speech. That's what it is. It really is. Terrorism is not a race, it's an act. It has evolved over time. Yes, right now we're dealing with extremism, Islamic terror in some parts of the world. But if you go to other parts of the world and ask them what a terrorist is, they'll show you a different face. You go to England, 20 years ago, and you said, well, who was a terrorist? They show you a drunk Irishman. Right? I didn't need to say drunk, I could have just said Irishman. There was a time when, when Nelson Mandela was labeled a terrorist. Like, terrorism is an act, it's not a face. People say these things. Well, these Muslims, you gotta admit, there's an awful lot of them. An awful lot of them doing the same thing. And like, yeah, but you know who's not a terrorist? Most Muslims. Yeah. Most Muslims are not terrorists. I'm not even Muslim, but it gets to me because I'm like, most Muslim people are not terrorists. You know how you know this? Because we're still alive. Yeah. They've had ample opportunity to take us out, people. There's a billion Muslim people on the planet. They've had every chance. They could have killed us using those falafels they sell us after midnight when we come out of the club. They could have wiped us all out. But they're killer kebabs. They've had the means. It's so weird to see our prejudices. Where people are labeled in the media, in society. Terrorism is not a race, it's an act. Most Muslims are not terrorists. Most Muslims are not terrorists.